Hello from Australia. Um, we're going to be talking about adversarial training for dialogue generation. So the basis of this paper, they start with the reinforced algorithm, which is from Williams, 1992. This is a GAN setup very, very similar to the image GANs that we talked about in class, except of course, it's dialogue. So the generator is going to get a dialogue history X. It's going to pull that through and generate a new utterance Y. It's going to send X and Y to the discriminator, which is going to try to tell if Y, given the history X, is said by a machine or said by a human. Now over time, the generator is trying to get better at imitating human dialogue, and the discriminator is trying to get better at deciding whether something is human or machine. So this is very similar to the image GANs, but it turns out um, this doesn't work well at all. So the, the authors go through a number of improvements in training to actually get this to generate reasonable dialogue that sounds human. So the first improvement that they make, um, with the plain reinforced algorithm, the generator will say something like, I don't know how to hate carrots. That's a really weird thing to say, but the discriminator is just going to say, no, that's wrong, that's, that's a machine. And that's not enough information for the generator to actually learn from. So they add this rewards for every generation step regs. And what this does is it takes apart the sentence into little words like I, how, carrots, and subsequences like how to hate carrots or I don't know, and it grades each of those individually. So the generator sort of gets partial credit on the test, so does it speak, um, so that it can learn which parts of the sentence worked and which ones were bad. So for example, um, I and two in the utterance, those are very neutral common words, so it gets a neutral score. Don't know how, that's a negative grade because it's a very robotic thing to say. If you've ever asked Siri or Google Home or whatever to do something it doesn't know how to do, it will say, I don't know how to do that. So not human thing to say. Hate carrots, that's very relevant to the conversation, which before it was about lunch, carrots with lentils. So that's going to get a positive grade. And the generator will be able to learn more efficiently from that. Actually learn something from that. All right, so the next problem, like we talked about in class, GANs are really hard to train because the generator um, gets really unstable over time. It's very hard to keep the generator learning at a reasonable, steady pace, and not just go crazy. So the authors definitely noticed that. Um, they found that the generator gets unstable over time, particularly because it usually guesses wrong to start with. So it's just gonna say things like, hello Apple, blah, 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 and the discriminator just can say wrong, 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 wrong every single time. So this is like a teacher is trying to teach you a really complicated um, idea. And instead of actually telling you how to do it or what the idea is, it's just gonna get like you guess and say no every single time because you have no idea what they're talking about. All right, so the generator also gets kind of pissed off and isn't able to learn from this, this way. So what the authors introduce is teacher forcing. So this algorithm now, the model, has reinforced, regs, and teacher forcing. Teacher forcing means that the teacher, the discriminator, is going to return a human response as well as the grade for what the generator said. So this is pretty much like on a test, you see what the right answer is, even though you got it wrong, you can see the right answer so you can learn from it and not just learn from what you did uh, incorrectly without any information of why. So, finally, they add in a bunch of other tricks here to improve the performance of the model. They um, don't allow the generator to say really short things like, yeah, cool, no. Um, so they make it say at least five uh, tokens in its utterance. This makes it say stupid, boring things. Um, variable learning rate, the second one. This means you learn more from responses whose average TFIDC score is, is higher. Um, what that means, if you're not familiar, is that inverse stacking frequency is going to give a higher score for words that are more unique, like platypus or pterodactyl, whereas the, to, and a are very boring, very common words in, in a document, so that will get a low score. So learn more from more unique stuff. Okay, um, penalizing intersibling ranking. What that means is we don't want to choose a bunch of utterances that are pretty similar, and we want more diverse utterances that we're choosing as our best ones. And finally, we're going to penalize words that have already been said. 
so that you don't just repeat yourself over and over like no 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 or how's life good how your family good you don't want to repeat yourself because that's boring so this is all the training in a nutshell although there's much more detail in the paper and now to evaluation